So very recently, Cloudways and Brainstorm Force, the company behind the very popular Astra theme, teamed up to provide Astra Pro for the first 12 months with any of the Cloudways hosting accounts. Now we're going to take a look in this video, first of all, how to set up Cloudways, secondly, how to install Astra inside your Cloudways account, and third, we're going to take a quick look at Astra itself and some of the options that are included in that Pro account. Now, please be aware this is a sponsored video by Cloudways, but as always, there's no opinions. I'm just going to show you how everything works, then you can make your own decisions up if you want to use this or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Cloudways pricing, what we have on offer, and then we're going to set up that account. So heading over to the pricing page on Cloudways, you can see we have five different cloud platforms that we can utilize from DigitalOcean through to Google Cloud. For this example, we're going to stick with DigitalOcean. We're going to use the premium plan. And as you can see, this starts at $12 per month. However, the nice thing about using a platform like Cloudways is it's incredibly easy to scale this at any point in the future, all done yourself inside your Cloudways account. It's really, really simple. We're going to go ahead and set up this account so you can see how it all works. And all the plans come with all these other options as well, including Cloudflare, free SSL migration, and a ton of options. Read through this for yourself to see what you get included. So all we need to do is go ahead and choose the option to say start for free. This then takes us over to the sign up page. And the nice thing about this is we can test this out for three days with any of the plans without spending a single penny. This gives us the ability to test things out. We don't need to put a credit card in or anything else like that. So it's a nice, simple way setting things up, testing it to make sure you're 100% happy. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the details, and then I'm going to set up my account, and we'll take a look at the Cloudways dashboard. So once you've signed up for your account, you'll get an email within a couple of seconds that asks you to confirm and activate your account. And that will then take you over to Cloudways, log you in, confirm your account, and then we're ready to go, taking a look at the dashboard and getting things up and running. So this brings us now into the dashboard for Cloudways, and we're ready to go ahead and set up a couple of things before we can get started. So let's click on the Let's Get Started option. This then takes us over and tells us we have to create an application and set up our server. Now this is incredibly simple to do, so don't get daunted by it. We can kind of go through a little step-by-step -step wizard that will explain what we need to do. Once we've done that, we can set things up. So as you can see, this first option allows us to choose what version of WordPress in this instance we're going to use for our application. And this is fine. You can delete this afterwards if you want to anyway. So we'll say version 6 is perfectly fine. We'll click on Next. Then it asks us, what of the cloud hosting platforms do you want to use? Like we saw at the beginning, from DigitalOcean through to Google Cloud Platform, all our options are there. We're going to stick with DigitalOcean for this example. We'll click on Next. This then asks us, what server location do you want to choose? Now, obviously, I'm based in the UK, so London is the closest to me, and that's what I'm going to choose. However, you need to choose the one that's either closest to you, or if you have a user base in a specific country that may not be your country, choose what is nearest to them to give optimal performance to your main audience. Like I say, for this example, we're going to stick to London, but you can choose whatever option you want. We'll click on Next. This then tells us we can either pay hourly or we can pay monthly. For this example, again, we're going to click on Next. And then you can see we've got the option to launch now. We'll click on Got It. And now we've been told step by step what we need to do. Now we can go ahead and set things up for ourselves. So first of all, you can see at the top, there's our WordPress, but we can open that up and choose from a range of different options. We'll leave it set to WordPress. You can name your application. In this example, you can say whatever you want. We can say WP Tuts. You can also go ahead and name your server, which I would recommend you do. And if you want to, you can name your project. We'll leave that for now. Next up, we can choose which of the cloud platforms you want to use. We're going to stick with DigitalOcean, so we'll leave that option selected there. Then we've got our server size. Now, for this example, we're going to keep this relatively simple and straightforward and start off with the basic. We're going to choose the option for the premium one gigabyte. Now, this is fine for setting things up and testing things out, but if you want larger, you can pick it now, or you can upgrade in the future when you need to. So let's go ahead and choose the option that we want. The location, as you can see, London is chosen, but we have a range of different ones, so pick the one that's closest to you. We'll click on London. That's basically all we need to do. Now we click on Launch Now. That's going to go ahead and launch this for us. This can take several minutes depending upon the settings that you've picked up, those kinds of things. So let that go through the process, and once that's finished, we're then ready to move on. So now that we have our account set up and our server is all ready, Let's go ahead and take a look at how we start using Astra Pro. So all we need to do is 
switch over to applications, click on add application, choose the server in this example, Therapy Tuts, and we'll say add application. This then allows us to choose what we want to install or set up as an application. You can see Astro Pro is selected, but if not, just simply choose it from the drop down list, give it a name, and click add application. There we go. After a few minutes, you can see there's our new Astra test. Everything is set up for us. So now let's take a quick look at Astra Pro and run some of the reasons why you may want to be using this as your theme of choice. So one of the best features about using a theme like Astra and Astra Pro is you have access to a lot of great looking starter sites that can get you up and running in double quick time. To access those, all we need to do is come into the Astra settings Install the starter templates, so we'll say install the importer plugin. Once we've done that, we can then start choosing from any of the templates we have, premium and free options, so an abundance to choose from. You can see we can now go ahead, build our website. We can choose from either the block editor, Elementor, or even Beaver Builder, so you have a selection of different tools in how you want to actually go about building the pages and creating your site using Astro Pro. For this example, let's just choose the block editor. So now we've got a range of different pre-designed templates catering for all manner of different websites from blog to e-commerce to business sites to portfolios and way more. You can see we can scroll through and take a look at any of these that catch our eye and then we can go ahead, choose that as a starting point. So for example, let's say I want this love nature design. We can click on this. This will then take us over into a nice, simple, straightforward step-by-step -step wizard we can use to customize even the starter design. You can see we can upload a logo and adjust the width of it. For now, we'll just skip that. You've then got a range of predefined color schemes and font typography settings, which you can simply test out, find what works well for you and use those, or you can customize them a little later on. So you can see we can click on any of these and the colors anywhere in our design will update and change. So we go and take a look at this red, you can see our button changes, our underline, change it to blue, all those changes are in place. Let's set that back to the default colors because I kind of like those. Then we've got different typography settings, so great font combinations. You can see we can click and anywhere those fonts are used in the design, it will update to exactly what we choose. I like the look of this one, this first one. So I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. We'll click and continue. We'll just say, we'll uncheck the options inside here. You can fill out any of the details if you wanna be notified of updates. We're gonna say submit and build my website and let this go ahead and build that site for us. And there we go. After a few seconds, everything has been completed and we can take a look at our website. So let's go ahead and visit our website. So there we go. There's our website all set up with the color changes and the typographic tweaks we've applied to it. All the pages are in place and we've got a site that's fast loading, easy to work with, all using the Astro Pro theme on our Cloudways account. Now, another area inside the Astro theme that I really like, that I think you're going to really like, is the ability to very quickly and easily edit headers and footers with a simple drag and drop interface. Let me show you how you do that. Let's head over into the appearance and into customize. And inside there, we've got the header builder and underneath we have the footer builder, both operate in pretty much the same way. So if we open up the header builder, you can see inside there, we've got this set of areas that we can drop different items into, customize it, style it, and so on. So if we take a look at the top, you can see we've got our logo on the left, we've got our navigation on the right, and we've got a button or call to action on the right hand side as well. If we take a look underneath, you can see there's our site title and logo, our primary menu on the right, and our button also on the right. If you want to make changes to any of those, you can simply come in and edit them by clicking, and then all the options on the left-hand side are available. So if you want to change your phone number, you can do that simply by changing inside here. If you want to adjust the design, you can do that. You can adjust all the text colors, background colors, any borders, the typography is being used inside your padding margins, all the design things that you need. You can also go ahead and adjust the entire section. So for example, the primary header where our logo and our navigation sits, we can click on this little cog on the left-hand side, and then we can go ahead and adjust the general settings and also the design settings inside you. So if you want to put a border, you want to put a background color, you can do that inside you. You want to change the general to the height, you want to make it taller, you can adjust that inside you as well. Really simple to do. You can reset it by using the little reset option and boom, you're done. Now one of the nice things is you can not only customize the section that's being currently used, but you can also place items above it and below it. So you may want to put something like a section for an account. You can do that super easily. We can come up to this section that's gonna go above our main navigation and logo. We can click, 
we can go ahead then and choose pretty much any of these widgets to drop inside there. So we may want to put an account link in. We can click to add that in there. You can see now that places our account icon at the top and we can go ahead and customize that if we want to. You can choose an icon, an avatar text. So for example, we may just want to use account. Well, you can just drop in there. You can come into design options. You can customize the look and feel of the icon, the typography. All those settings are available to you all inside Astra. And the same goes for your footer. So you can really easily create custom headers, footers, design those for your entire site all just using the simple drag and drop features. And these are just some of the things that I like about the Astra theme and how easy it is to start working with. Now, if you want to grab Cloudways for yourself and save yourself a little bit of cash, you can use the code WPTUTS at checkout to get 25% off your first two months on your Cloudways account. And obviously you get Astra Pro included in that for the first year for zero cost. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video, let me know in the comment section below. My name is Paul C, this is WPTUTS and until next time, Take care.